It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I played for five minutes. I still see falling blocks in my dreams. It's poetry, art and math, all working in magical synchronicity. It's, it's the perfect game. Tetris. 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 I don't get it. The film Tetris is based on true events around Hank Rogers, a video game salesman, designer, and the man who risks everything to join the race to license and patent the video game from the Soviet Union in the late 1980s during the Cold War. It stars Rick Yoon, who spoke to us about signing on to the film. I didn't read the script. They said, Matthew Vaughn wants to get on a Zoom call with you. I'm like, cool, I'm a big fan. I get on a Zoom call, this guy's talking to me for about an hour. Uh, you know, I'm in Africa. He's talking to me about an hour for these few scenes. Um, and really it was just the the chance to, to work on something that, I mean, he sold me, to be honest, because normally I wouldn't have uh, done something like this. But uh, what I heard about what they went through in getting this made and the commitment that uh, Marv and Unigram and, and Apple put into it, it, uh, it really inspired me because this is what filmmaking is about. Rick also spoke about his experience working alongside Golden Globe winner, Taron Edgerton. He's a beautiful individual, really is. So you win, and ultimately you are only as good as the people you're surrounded by or, or what you're up against. And uh, he was there and they, they were very committed. And so you know, myself, when, when I see something like this, um, it just inspires me to go as, and give as much as I can. For example, I came in and saw Taryn, and this wasn't in the, in the film, but I saw him dancing and singing in Japanese for three hours, the same five lines. This is from like, 6 30 in the morning so that to me was it just showed that sort of artistic commitment and when you see artists giving that um you know it inspires you I, literally i can't really take any credit they, they i walked into into this blind only understanding that uh they were looking for specific moments and i'm, I'm glad i was able to deliver the Fast and the Furious will celebrate its 22nd anniversary this year since releasing in June of 2001. Rick spoke about the cultural impact that the original film has made and what he thought Johnny Tran would be up to if he were to resurface in 2023. Still being a bad boy that everybody likes. Look, now everybody in the world knows the Fast and the Furious is. When we first started off, it was like Tetris. A group of filmmakers coming together, not knowing what was going to happen. Okay. So, you know, kicking off the original Fast and the Furious led to everything that happened afterwards uh, and led to, thank goodness, other Asian characters being shown because back then the uh, situation was different. And even now in Tetris, you see this representation, which is a beautiful thing. Tetris is now streaming on Apple TV+. Not the bad.